Hello everybody and welcome back to Season 42 of the P2 London Cup Series. Today we're at Kentucky Speedway for the running of the Xbox Series X 400. On the pole will be the number 2 of Sam at Oscon and the number 41 of Allison Ray will start on the outside. In row 2 we'll have the 50 of Jackson Nantel and the number 78 of Ethan O'Connor. In row 3 has Daniel Bouchard and Chris Leone and John Andrews and Alexander will make up row 4. And Zachary Fitzwater and Maxwell Smart round out the top 10 here in the starting lineup. And let's take a look at the rest of the field and where they'll be starting here in today's race. And our winner from Chicagoland last weekend was Thomas Mockford. Collected his first career win. In dominating fashion, there he is, starting in 28th here today, right in the middle of the pack. He's collected his first career win last week at Chicagoland in dominating fashion. He started on the pole and led every single lap and took the win. And now we'll see what happens here at Kentucky Speedway. As the cars are going to roll off the track, we're about to see who is going to be the winner here tonight at Kentucky Speedway. Sam and Oscon leads the field down to the green flag as we're about to um, go under the lights here tonight at Kentucky. And we'll see who will add his or her name to the playoff field here in today in tonight. Should be a lot should be a fun should be a fun night here tonight. As Sam and Oscon is going to take the green flag, and we are underway at Kentucky Speedway. Oscon is going to lead lap number one here at Chicago. I mean, Kentucky. Sorry, Kentucky. <laughs> Last week we were in Chicagoland. Oh, a spin. And John Andrews around again. Maxwell Smart. As you saw, Maxwell Smart got really loose. Gets turned around. John Andrews also spins. And that will bring out the caution for the first time tonight. Oh, wow, that is a big spin as Hampton Connor and Cassie Reynolds were among the drivers involved. They'll race back to the line, and Sam and Oscon is going to lead us back to the caution flag. And Claire Richardson looks like she's going to take the three-wide battle um, to the caution. And we're under yellow. And they're going to pit already. How about that? A handful of cars have chosen to pit. But Jackson Antel, he's going to stay out and going to take the lead. So here we go. Back to the green flag with 20 to go. By the way, the 22 Garrett Albertson is out of the race right now. So the 22 is not, it is not, it has uh, retired from this race. Battle for the lead as Ethan O'Connor takes the lead away. There he goes into the lead. Ethan O'Connor in the 78 car. Wyatt Quayle running in second right now. He makes the move into second place. And Dmitry Baranovsky is up to third place. And there you see Coda Butcher also trying to make a move on the 50 car. And Isaiah Burnett trying to go three wide. Look at that six car being very aggressive, going on the bottom lane, trying to make a move on that 50 and the 99. Oh, is he going to get the run here? Oh, he's too low, and the 99 gets to the run first. None, and there you see. Uh, wow, nearly loose there is Cole Binion. He nearly got loose. Hayden Stringer makes his move into the front right now, into, I believe, seventh right now, the seventh position. Here comes Dmitry Baranovsky as he is going to go for second spot. Oh, he's too. Sh oh man, he went too tight. He just didn't get the run in turn one. Wow, he just did not get that run in turn one. 
That was a pretty bad break there. And it looks like another caution is out, and it appears that we have another crash involving Nick Suchita and the 48 car of Ryan Durani. And let's take a look what happened. Looks like Arthur Richard was the one that brought the caution out. Oh, we got loose. Zach Fitzwater and Quinn Porter got into the wall, and a handful of cars were caught up with in the wreck. And Foster Henderson was also involved in the caution. A big, a huge crash in turn two, and that's what brought the caution out. The 53 Steve Morgan is also in the wreck, and that's the second caution of the, of the night here at Chicago. I mean Kentucky, Kentucky, and they're gonna pit. And it looks like I think everyone is pitting, so I think the strategy game has worked out for those in front. Ethan O'Connor coming down pit road right now as the leader. We'll see who comes out first. Wow, it looks like Oscon pitting the earlier might have not worked out for him. Oh, wait a minute. He comes out second off pit road behind Arthur Richard. Oh, wait, never mind. Richard's a lap down, I believe. So it looks like Sam and Oscon is going to be the leader again. How about that? Jackson Antill and Dmitry Baranovsky in that order. Oh, wait a minute. No, never mind. I thought that Arthur Richard was going to be on the in the leader, but... They're going to make Sam and Oscon the leader. Now Arthur Richards is going to start right behind the leader. So this is going to be fun. Arthur Richard almost a lap down. He's going to start behind the ahead of the leader, who is Sam and Oscon. Will Sam and strategy work out to his favor? He was the one that pitted earlier, and then he took the second stop just to get the fuel to ensure that he makes it. And now we're green again. Oh, a daring move by Sam and Oscon going in the middle there. is trying to block Jackson Nantel up high. And Oscon is trying to pull away. The 50 car trying to catch him. And here comes Barnofsky. For the second spot, another crash. A huge one involving Alexander Rowe. With 11 laps to go, somebody got turned. It looks like it was Alexander Rowe that got turned, making contact with, I believe, the double zero car. And that is Christian Vargas in the double zero that turned the 66. And that'll bring the caution out. And 42 takes second spot away. Oh, they nearly got contact. Hayden Stringer and Giovanni Castillo with 11 to go, able to hang on. And now everybody is good to go till the very end. Unless there's overtime and we could be seeing some strategies play out. Seven laps remain and the 51 is not going to be an issue for the leaders on the restart. They're going to have clean air to start off when they take the green flag again. Sam and Oscon in the lead with seven to go. We're back to the green. There's Hayden Stringer in the third spot. So he does make that move to the third over the 50. And now the cars are starting to move back and forth again. And now the two car pulls away. He's trying to pull away to, from, to, to, to uh, capture this win. Oh, now they're getting into the wall and Hayden Stringer's in the wall. But he does save it, though. He saves it. Oh, and he just avoids wrecking other drivers. Wow, how did he do that? Oh, the 20, a very slow run. Oh, man. Oh, my goodness. A close call there. But, man, Hayden Stringer just got to be disappointed. He's got to be real disappointed that he nearly got racked out. And now he's not going to be able to win here today. Wow, what a race we had so far. So we have five laps to go. And here comes Wyatt Quayle for the lead. And there he goes, and Wyatt Quayle takes that lead away in a handful of laps to go in a crazy one in uh, Kentucky. And there's the caution. Oh, no, Arthur Richard. <laughs> he went above the wall. He just went above the wall. <laughs> wow, how did that happen? Oh, look at that. He just went up on the wall. Oh, wow. How does that even happen? Wow, Arthur Richard with a wild crash. 
to Alexander Rowe and Rich Roy. And now take a look at it again. Oh my gosh. Went up on top of the wall. How about that? What a what a crash! I think we've seen the wreck, the crash of the season right there. With and the crash of the season belongs to Arthur Richard by going up on that wall right over there. And the caution's out with four to go, and that means that we might have ourselves an overtime finish coming up. What a what a se excuse me what a season we've had so far with a lot of races ending in overtime. This one is another, probably another one that's going to end in overtime. Yeah, and like I, and as I mentioned before, I think the wreck, the crash of the year goes to Arthur Richard going up on that fence, on top of the fence. Oh my goodness, look, take a look at his view. Yeah, right on top of the fence, he sits right on top of it, that is just so weird that is just that's something that rarely happens i mean very rarely happens wow arthur richard went up for a wall ride he went up on the wall now we will have overtime there will definitely be an overtime finish here at kentucky so when we come back it'll be down to the final two laps at kentucky and a double fall restart it will be a finish for the ages so you don't want to miss the finish of this race it's going to come down to the final two laps. And here we go, folks. Two laps to go in overtime. Caution free. One Aquil in the lead to start it off. It's going to come down to a two-lap overtime dash to the finish here at Kentucky Speedway. Who's going to join in? Who's going to join the many drivers that have locked their spots in the playoffs? And here we go. A former champion in the lead. Will he hold on to get a win and try to capture another title? We shall see. As the green flag is about to wave, we're back at it again with two laps to go at Kentucky. And a great start for Wyatt Quayle. Sam at Oscon, he is not doing so good. Oh, the 99 Coda Butcher nearly loose. Coda Butcher nearly gets loose. But he hangs on to it as we come to the white flag and Butcher's in the lead with one lap to go. White flag in the air. Cole Binion's going for the lead. Here comes Ethan O'Connor. Can he make a move? In the final three turns. And Cole Binion and Ethan O'Connor battle it out. They're getting loose again. Quail. Cole Binion in the lead. Down the final corner three wide. Giovanni Castillo trying to get to the second spot. But what a win. Cole Binion has done it. He wins at Kentucky. Cole Binion out of nowhere gets the win at Kentucky Speedway. How about that? The rookie wins it. Just like in the real-life race in Kentucky last season, a rookie wins in overtime. And a last-minute spin after the call, after the checkers, Alexander Rowe goes around. Cole Binion gets the win, an incredible finish. And wow, the rookie has won in it on, for the second race in a row. The rookie takes the checkered flag. And Cole Binion... Collects the win. He came out of nowhere. And he takes the win. This was the winning move. When they were coming down to the white flag. As Coda Butcher was the leader. And he got a little bit of the drafting help from Ethan O'Connor. And that was all he needed. That was all Cole Binion needed. To make a run and take the take the win. And Wyatt Quell, you saw him get really loose. Nearly getting spun out on the final lap of the race. And Cole Binion pulls away and takes the checkered flag. What a race for Cole Binion. He takes the win in an unexpected overtime finish. An amazing win for the 24 team. And for the first time this season, I believe Hendrick Motorsports has a win and a driver in the playoffs. And Cole Binion, the rookie, adds another rookie to the playoff field. And Cole Binion, what a win for that team, man. 
You may have noticed that Hendrick Motorsports, they were going with the color rush schemes made by Lefty Designs. And a huge shout out to Lefty um, for making these paint schemes. The 24, and I'm about to show you the 5. This is, this is the other color rush scheme that, they, that Lefty did. He did it for all the Hendrick cars. In fact, this is Ryan Durante's scheme. And finally, let's show you Nathan Ormond's scheme. There's his scheme right over there. But the winning scheme was Cole Binion in the 24. He takes it to victory here at Kentucky. At Kentucky, He joins the other drivers in the playoffs here in season 42. Among the rookies that will be competing for championship. A huge class of rookies this season. And Cole Binion will be one of them to battle for the championship. So t there you see Cole Binion with the win here today at Kentucky. We will see you guys next weekend in Tennessee. The next three events will be in Tennessee, starting with Bristol. Bristol will be the oval race. Uh, the regular oval race is coming up for Bristol. That's our next race coming up in the PLCS. And until next time, we will see you guys later. And what a finish we had at Kentucky Speedway. Cole Binion is another rookie winner here in the PLCS. And until then, we will see you next time.